there is still no word on a cure for the virus, government officials report the virus is not <laughs> So because I was a freshman, um, everyone in the dorms had gotten sent home. So first of all, all my stuff was left in my dorm. I was under the assumption that we'd be coming back in two weeks and everything would go back to normal. So that having to live without like half my stuff at home was hard to adjust to definitely. And then just having to stay home unexpectedly was a huge adjustment for me mentally. Obviously I love my parents and I love being at home but to be under the assumption that you're going to be able to live your life in college and have your time to yourself and then have it be taken away from you is kind of stinky in a way. Um, I was really looking forward to making more friends and I felt like I had just gotten comfortable with everyone that I was meeting. So that was a big adjustment to just have to go home and not really see the people that I was used to seeing every day. And we just thought it was going to be a short little time. I really wasn't doing anything, but I knew I had to keep myself busy and there was just such a stop in everything that I knew that I was getting really bored. Once the lockdown happened, everyone turned to technology to continue work, school, or any types of meetings remotely. Technology is now at the highest of reliability for most people in the world. The virus ultimately changed the way we internet for the future. Indoor courts closed. Um, I couldn't see my friends for the majority of the first half of quarantine because my mom didn't want me to. Um, I started playing a lot more video games during the pandemic because I was inside. Um, everything I do in my day to day. Wasn't going to school, um, so I wasn't waking up early. I lost a lot of physical activity, so I started getting not in the shape I wanted to be in. Um, I didn't have an incentive to eat well, so I started eating poorly. I'd say my mental health declined because I couldn't do the things I wanted to do. I had grown into other interests, perhaps because of the pandemic. Like what? Guitar, mainly. That gave me a lot of time to... I had started guitar before the pandemic, but it gave me a lot of inside time to practice. Um, and I got a lot better and it became sort of a passion as opposed to a bit of a hobby. And I got a dog. Um, her name is Ginger, she's a pit bull, but I really just wanted some more companionship. It was getting lonely in some ways. A year into the pandemic, things are slowly getting back to life before the lockdowns. There are restrictions being lifted, COVID vaccines made for people to get, and more immunity all around the world. The past year and a half has affected the entire globe and was a huge pause on life that became a major waiting game. Everyone urgently and abruptly had to stop everything they were doing and planning to do because sometimes life throws us curveballs we don't expect. It's been a difficult year for everyone in many different ways, but I believe for many individuals, the pandemic forced a time for reflection and gave them time to find new hobbies and passions they now love. The pandemic has created a new appreciation for life and to cherish all the time we get with the people we care so much about. Life isn't always what we plan, but to stay positive and to get through the times we didn't see coming is what makes life worth living.